So what you're seeing here is me trying to unload a 350 pound welder out of the back of a Scion XB by myself. Um, this particular unit was thrown out because uh, they had it was uh, reaching it the end of its duty cycle way too soon. Um, multiple times trying to fix it, not sure what's up. As per the norm with this channel, we're gonna try to put too much into the into a single car garage shop that really has no reason being there. So in this episode, we're gonna build something for my neighbor and something for myself, a stick holder. Enjoy. You've kind of caught me in the middle of something. You might notice the big vent duct tube that used to be up there and that one just kind of, well, it's had better days. But the reason being is, yeah, 220 and 120. Uh, ran some 6.3 wire through the house into here. Got a 60 amp breaker there. And then uh, temporarily we have run the same 6.3 wire down to this 100 amp disconnect. Turn it on, and that goes into the back of this Synchrowave 250. So, ugh. we do not have yeah, this buzzing. So we don't have any of the accessories uh, to actually TIG weld gas, torch, anything like that. Uh, but we do have is a pair of jumper cables hooked up to the appropriate. Uh, let's see, so that'd be the electrode and the work. Uh, we're on DC negative, and gonna put, bump that up to 100 amps. We have the remote on. Uh, we have those two switches on, so we can stick weld. And then we have a stick. I think it's like um. I actually don't know what that is. What like? It looks like a sixteenth of three. I don't know, five thirty seconds or something. Anyway. We are going to join these two pieces of 2 inch by 4 inch together. Um, at least I think that's what we're going to do. We'll see if it works. Should work. Why wouldn't it work? So a friend has a concrete pad, and uh, this will get uh, bolted to that concrete pad, and then up top here we'll install hinges, and at that point it will then be the gate for his driveway. Forgive my welds, they look atrocious, but let's go on to something I am good at, fabbing up interesting things from scrap. Yeah, it's going to melt the metal, isn't it? And when the metal cools, the two pieces, the two pieces of metal are going to become one piece of metal. Is that crazy? That's crazy, isn't it? Crazy cool. All right. So what's our plan? We're gonna light it up. No, we're not gonna light it up. It's not a spyglass. I'm a pirate. You're not a pirate. <laughs> 
I feel like you're not taking this seriously. <laughs> Do you think that's true? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a pirate. You're not a pirate. Yeah, yeah. No, you're not. Yeah, pirate. Yeah. So, plan is remove this, use this cord as our wire, our, Hello, our handle. Will be this piece of walnut. I'm a pirate, baby. We'll hollow out the inside pirate, of this enough for the cord. I'm a pirate, baby. I'm a pirate. You're not a pirate. <laughs> so we'll drill through here, carve it out so that that fits in a cradle. Well, for small uses and, um, you know, my hobby uses, I think this thing is going to work just fine pouring down uh, more and more uh, weld than I can really <laughs> ever use. Um, as to this hammer, um, it's just some, I believe, three-quarter all thread turned down to 3816 here, and then just a point put on it. And it's working pretty well. Uh, kind of like a combo chip hammer and stick welder. So weld, I don't know, maybe that's not useful. Um, this UHMW acts as an insula electrical insulator, uh, so I can still have the clamp uh, connected and it won't uh, arc out. So 
Uh, only downside so far to that is there's the rattling. Uh, constant hammering is enough that this loosens unless it's like really, really tight. Uh, so that's probably the only downside of that. And maybe it's a little wonky. I don't know. Kind of looks like a pew, pew, like a pistol or like a laser gun. I don't know. I kind of like the concept. Maybe it's uh, ridiculous and unuseful. It, it probably is. I mean, I made it. <laughs> it has to be. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. It was a little kind of here, there, everywhere, but uh, just wanted to kind of show off the new welder and my lack of skills with stick welding. So, a little bit, little documentation, so that way later on when uh, I get better, I'll be able to see progress, which is kind of nice in some ways. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you later. Ah, ba, 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 ba,